You know you'd make my life a lot easier if you'd clean up after yourself. Barry, Barry, there's a pink car outside looking for you and Teddy. All right, Damon. We all know it's April Fool's Day. <laughs> Got you. Mm, very funny, Dame. Yeah, it was hysterical. No, but there's a car out there, though. Yeah, all right, Dame. It's that here. What's its name? You know, that make you came in yesterday. Hello, buddy. Hi, Tommy. Yes, well, uh, thank you very much, Barry. I would like to come in for a bit. Oh, well, it's a bit, no. After all, um, you and me have got quite a bit to talk about, haven't we? Look, Damon, will you just get off out? Why should I? Damon, get off out now. Hey, go out and play like nice lads, eh? Me and your brother have got one or two things we want to discuss. God, the only time anyone speaks to us is when they tell us to shove off. Yeah. Now then, I think there's uh, one or two things uh, you probably want to talk to me about. So, the fact of the matter is, you've been riding around in my car without my permission. And I don't want any more fairy stories about how you was out buying a new chamois leather to give it an extra special finish. I could have you two, you know. Even legally, I could have you. After I'd finished with you. I mean, what if you'd banged it up? Yeah, but we never, though, did be, Tom. And we won't have it back at the Adelphia at 12, like we said. Oh. After you've been and gone and lost it, you mean? Yeah, but we never lost it, really. No. You just had it nicked from under your noses. Good job it was one of my own lads that found it, wasn't it, eh? And brought it back where it belonged. Otherwise, any monkey little thief could have nicked it. Instead of one of your big monkey thieves, Tom. He was naughty, buddy. Very naughty. Now, look. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, you two. I'm going to offer you a little piece of advice. What I mean, lads, is... It's just not good business, is it? I mean, if you got about that you two were borrowing other people's cars behind their backs, customers could get very nasty, couldn't they? Yeah, oh, yeah, I suppose so, Tom. So, you know, everybody's as uh, understanding as me, you know? Oh, well, I'd better settle up with you for the... Um, you're going to pay us? Well, as far as I can see, you did a good job on the valeting. Still, uh, if you're offering it, oh, no, complimentary. No, 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 oh, after all, we did give it a special spruce up and that, didn't we, you know? Yeah, I see you got rid of that stain. Oh, yeah, the blood. Yeah, the pig's blood, yeah, that's right. No trace of any little accident now, is there? <laughs> oh, no evidence of it at all, Tom. Right. Well... Uh, yeah? Well, Tommy, we, uh, well, we just wanted to know if, thanks for the money and that, just wanted to know if everything was all right with the car. Yeah, I said you did a good job. Well, what Barry means is, um, yeah? well, did you find, was there something that we left in the car, Tom? Oh, I saw there's something. Something like videos. Videos? Oh, hello. Uh, Mrs. Grant, I presume? Yes, that's right. Oh, well, I better introduce myself, as your son obviously isn't going to. I'm Tommy McArdle. Pleased to meet you. Uh, just been settling up with the lads for valeting my car. Oh. Yeah, that's right, Mum. Tommy's just been settling up for valeting his car. Yeah. Tommy's just been settling up with us. Nice little business they've got going here, Mrs. Grant. You must be very proud to have such an enterprising son. Oh, yeah. Still, I expect, uh, I expect he looks after you, eh? Client should always look after his mother. 
Nice big bunch of flowers for you this morning, was it? Not exactly, no. Oh, dear. Well, well, I'm just off around to see my mum now, as a matter of fact. A few little blooms like to mark the day. <laughs>